you guys. This is Theo, and um, I have no idea if I'm allergic to something. And I'm sure the hell not going to go to a doctor and have them shoot me full of pollen or whatever the hell they do there. Figure out what I'm sick of. I keep sniffling now. But we're going to find out. I'm going to take you in the other room, and I'm going to show you what I think is making me sneeze. This is the long, strange hallway. That's what's making me sneeze. This is a jacket that me and Peter and Fred bought in Gettysburg. And it's awesome. It makes me, I believe that's what's making me sneeze. I think that's, that's what's making me sneeze. And this is the closet. Here's the bathroom. Do you guys want to see my bathroom? It's not an intimate, here, let me set this laptop. Isn't that clean? I did a good job. <laughs> this is the mirror. Here is um, some pantyhose. I don't know if you guys ever saw these. Like I wear, <laughs> I wear about three or four layers of clothing. You know, like I wear three or no, I wear more than one pair of pants or a couple pairs of socks, a couple shirts, at least two shirts usually. Um, two bras all the time. I mean, you know, Houston is the fourth largest city. I'm not leaving the house with, that, with anything less than two bras. It's great, though, when you live in a cold climate, because then you have an excuse. You could just say, well, it's cold. I'm not so strange after all. <laughs> Look at the little birds. Aren't they sweet? That's the little asshole birds. See with the blue spot. He's looking at me. I got a um, smoke outside so that the next resident, when she came to visit the apartment and view it, you know, she said, Oh, is that smoke I smell? And I said, Oh, God, my friend Kim came and visited, and she's so rude. You know, she just smokes wherever. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to get the smoke smell out of the apartment? So I've been going a couple of weeks without smoke. I was smoke outside. The apartment smells pretty good. <coughs> I never noticed the difference, though. Well, no, I never noticed it smelled smoky, but right when it smelled clean and I quit smoking, like almost right away, I was like, what the fuck? I did not feel at home. I felt like I was an interloper. That's what I said. And I want to tell you something. See them on the perch? I made that video. I, you know, I made those videos talking smack about those birds and the fishes. And... I don't know. Every... The very next day after I put those videos up on YouTube, the very next day, I had a sick cichlid, you know, um, the next day, who was just like floating toward the bottom and didn't have a lot of strength and was struggling for life and stuff. And he still looked mean, you know, he was still mean, he's thoroughly mean, but he was kind of sick. And he was like, And it freaked me out that I just made this video where I called him a bunch of ass. And then it was like, so I go into the, I'm feeling bad. And I go into the birdcage. And, and to kind of compensate, I was cleaning out, um, you know, their cages. And I sort of left the door open, you know. Like, I, I sort of, like, you know where you lift the door up? I sort of turned it a little bit sideways so it would catch and wouldn't come down all the way. And I left it open for him and kind of turned my back. Because I felt bad. I was like, listen, if... Who am I to, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm just keeping track of them. That's the best I could do. But if they got to escape, you know, maybe, maybe... Maybe they sh I should let one escape. Um, so I left the door open, and none of them rushed toward the door. Not one of them. I think they all thought it was a trick. And so they wouldn't do it, you know? And then the bluebird that I, was sh I just showed you guys a picture of, um, 
I was looking at him, you know. I was looking at him. And he was looking at me just like you guys saw here. Just like that. I'm his friend. And all of a sudden, he's looking at me. And his eyes, he closes his eyes to go to sleep. While I'm looking at him, and I'm giving him a mean stare, I'm looking at him like, I know what's going on in your head. And he just kind of went. While I was watching him, he fell asleep. How many of you people can fall asleep with somebody looking at you in the eye like that? That's cool. That's awesome. So after that, I just kind of felt like, uh, maybe I blew the whole thing out of proportion. So, I go back to give him my name tag and shirts and stuff like that. And I pass by the birdcage in search of a manager to give these objects to. And I pass by the birdcage, and they had pushed out the tray so far. They had accomplished so much in my absence. I've only been gone a week. And they had, like, pushed it out. They could have had an escape that night. But it looked like they were just waiting for closing time, and they were going to make the big bust. But they had really made a lot of progress. Well, I didn't say anything. I figured, I don't know. I was kind of rooting for them. But the only thing is, is I really like them. That's the only thing. I never liked a bird before, you know. I never liked birds. Um, I've watched birds. I mean, I've watched a lot of birds in my day. I've gotten involved in their dramas, but mostly it's been an antagonistic. My view of birds has always been antagonistic. I get into their lives, though. But caged birds? Mm. I don't know. I like them. I think I kind of like them now. And now, you know, I don't know. They're awesome. I gotta go to sleep, though, you guys. I'd love to talk about the birds. That's a drama. But I don't even think this is gonna make it on YouTube. Da 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 da.